We have a cat sleeping between my lights. Hey everyone, Arnaldo Wofferman here with American DJ Gig Zone. I want to talk to you about one of my most frequently used lights as of late. It is the American DJ Flat Par QWH5. What I love about this light is its uh, versatility. Incredibly versatile light. Now, uh, I did modify the light with the included little brackets on it because as uh, you may have seen in various reviews, including my own, this thing is like staring into the brightness of the sun. This thing is so bright that I actually opted for the 5 5 watt models versus the 12 5 watt LEDs. Either way, it's bright, a lot of different applications. This is the one that works for me. Uh, I got the American DJ LSF filters, right? And then I put it in there. Gives a nice, not only diffusion, but much better coverage. Now, because, uh, as I said, this slide is so versatile, there's so many things I can use it for. I can uh, actually have the little included brackets, say like that, and I can use it as up lights. Now, this was perfect. I actually did an event. It wasn't really uh, like a gig, what it was, or event for you know, whichever you want to call it, uh, but what it was is it was uh, a grand opening of a store of a coordinator that I work with quite a bit who does excellent work and she wanted me to just play music as people were walking in for a downtown showcase in her local town. Uh, it was still in the middle of the day, it was still bright outside, so we used these as up lights because even outside you can see the light against the wall. Love these things, I mean they make great up lights. Uh, and actually if you don't want to, you know, put them in DMX, let's move this over here. You'll actually see a little pickup so you can use them as remote control. So that's actually really nice too. Uh, I love the remote control features. Whenever I'm doing a wedding, I can actually take these and I mount these on top of my Bose speakers. You know, put a little clamp together. I love a little custom clamp. I mount them on top of my speakers or I'll put them on, you know, a couple of stands. And then with just a remote control, I'm able to wire these up together thanks to the power and power out. One IEC handles several of these things, so it makes much cleaner wire arrangement. It's power and power on one side, so or, or per side, so again, really clean arrangement. Uh, four of these, I was actually able to do eight prong with 775 some odd students. Incredibly bright in there, so bright that I actually had to have our my lighting tech Monica. She had to basically keep the lights dimmed down during certain parts of the night because they were very bright. Now, I chose the QWH5, uh, there's also the QWA5, this is the one with white LEDs, the other one does amber. Uh, even though, you know, amber colors can be pretty rich, you can reach some really nice oranges that way. I like the uh, white LEDs because it allows me to do pastels, and what I'm noticing in Florida at least, is that we're getting more and more, you know, question, or people asking us to do pastel colors, baby blues, the really light pinks, really easy able to uh, attain with a white LED. Now, what I've also done, if you've watched a couple of my videos online and all that that I have, is I actually took two of these right here. I made my own little cave, you know, little custom cables to make it mount nice and pretty. And it's on a little regular piece of wood, and there's a hole right in the middle. Now, you may ask, Ronnie, what do you do with that? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Um, I have the American DJ or Relation, whichever model is, you know, similar, pretty much the same, the event bar. And I will take the event bar, put it on a crank 2 stand, and then I'll mount this on top. Because the event bar has a hole where, or a little clamp thing so you can hang it. Well, I actually use that so I can put a bolt through it and I can actually have this on top. Now, what this does is it allows me to put a couple of uh, the QWH5s in there. And with the event bar, like in the video you're seeing now, it's a great light show for weddings. These things just, you know, flooded the whole area. And again, we actually had to keep the lights dim because of how bright they are. Uh, I was actually able to aim the lights at the ceiling and then have the reflection from the white ceiling bounce in the light. I would not aim these directly at people's eyes unless they're really up high because of how bright they are. Uh, so again, that's one of the things I absolutely love about this light. The other thing that I'm super excited about is this light strobes incredibly fast. These go so fast the camera can't catch them. These strobe change colors from one to the other incredibly fast, incredibly smooth, and it's just great. I mean, these are some of the most versatile lights that I've ever owned for an event. Usually whenever I'm, you know, whenever I use like any type of can light or anything like this, I'm always worried about having a spot effect. With the LSF filter, I have a nice overall wash, as you can see in the videos that I showed you. So again, I'm Arnaldo Offerman with American DJ Gig Zone showing you my favorite floodlight, the Flat Par QWH5. Also check out its sister light, the QWA5 or the QWH or QWA12, which have 12 LEDs. Incredibly bright fixtures, great for uplighting, DMX or non-DMX. Oh, and if you don't even want to use a remote, you can actually select a color of lights or even a light macro from here as well. So,
Very versatile. Hope you enjoyed the video. Check out some of the clips of these lights in action next. Come on! Just do what you do! Rock the baby, don't drop the baby! Rock the baby, don't drop the baby! Rock the baby, just rock the baby! Just rock the baby, don't drop the baby! Rock the baby, don't drop the baby! Rock the baby, don't drop the baby! Rock the baby, just rock the baby! Just rock the baby, don't drop the baby! Rock the baby, be quiet! Just call it, man! Come on! Rock the baby, be quiet! Louder, man! Just call my single lady, my single lady!